I'm Cindy Arenberg seltzer President and CEO of the Children's Services Council of Broward County. Welcome to another edition of Future First, Focus on Broward's Children. In Broward, as in other parts of the country, we've been asking some hard questions about how justice, specifically as it applies to youth, is allocated across race and gender. Young black men in particular are disproportionately affected by arrest and detention with all too often lifelong negative consequences. The question is, are there alternatives to incarceration that address victims' needs while providing services to the juvenile offender that can create a path so that a young person can become a responsible, productive adult? The Children's Services Council has been a leading supporter of the use of civil citations encompassing many of the tenets of restorative justice approach as delivered by providers of some of the CSC-funded programs. Recently, we had the honor in Fort Lauderdale of hosting the fifth national conference on community and restorative justice. The event served as an opportunity to address these issues while promoting effective forms of justice that are equitable, sustainable, and socially constructive. Joining me today to discuss the growth and implementation of the restorative justice approach in Broward County and beyond are Michelange Obel, founder and CEO of Team Saving Our Youth, also known as Team Soy, Miriam Campo Goldman, CEO and founder of Harmony Development Center, Jacqueline Lashbrook, Youth Services Supervisor with the Broward Sheriff's Office, and Audrey Stang, our own Interim Chief Program Officer at the Children's Services Council. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 